Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode here. Today we are going to be updating our firmware on our Holly Sniper EFI and we're going to try to do it in a couple minutes or less so let's get started. First step, turn your key on. Okay so start off on your home screen. You're going to go to File, Global Configurations, select the tune that you're using and this way we're going to download it from the ECU and this will save the tune that you're currently using so you don't erase anything. So download from ECU, overwrite. Okay, now you're saved. You're gonna hit the home button. Now you're back at home and remove your SD card. Okay, so this part might be a little confusing to some, but pause whenever you need to and I promise you can get right through it. So uh, go ahead and put in your SD card like usual. Something should pop up down here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on that, or you can click on your file explorer down here. And we're going to scroll down until you see Sniper EFI. This is your SD card. Go ahead and open that up. You're going to see the fo uh, folder Holly. Click on that. You're going to see the folder FW0101. Click on that. You're going to see some stuff in here. Click on the Saved GCF folder. Okay, now you're going to see your tune in here. This is what we wanted to transfer over to the uh, new firmware update. So highlight over those and drag them onto your desktop. Okay, so now they're here, they're saved. Now the next step is to go back. You should see the backer up here. Click that until you're back to the home on your uh, SD card here. Highlight over everything and go ahead and delete these. Okay, delete it. Now we can leave this open, but we're gonna go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer or your Google Chrome. I like Google Chrome. We're gonna go to Holly. Open up their main website. Go over to Support, EFI Software. Okay, now scroll down until you see Sniper EFI SD Card Contents. Click on that right here. It's gonna download something in the left-hand corner. Wait for that to finish. Go ahead and click on it. All right, now you're gonna see this folder right here. Go ahead and exit that ad if it pops up. Open up this folder. Now you're gonna see these three folders here. Now control click or highlight, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna minimize the Internet Explorer. Drag this out right next to the tune that you have out on your desktop. Now we're done with this. Now go back into your SD card, the Sniper EFI SD card that you deleted that stuff from and take the new stuff you dragged out, highlight it, drag it onto the SD card. It might take a second to copy it onto it, but that's just what it is. Okay, now that that's on here, you can open up Holly again, your 0101 folder, save GCF, and now take your old tune, highlight that, drag it onto this folder. And that's it. Now you're good to go ahead and remove this SD card and we're gonna go put it into the car for the next step. Okay guys, we are almost done. So go ahead and put your SD card back into the handheld right here. Key on. Go ahead and let it sit here and update. This might take a minute. Okay, so now it says remove card, reboot device. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Remove the card. Now we're gonna reboot the device. Turn the key off. Okay, go ahead and put the SD card back in. Key back on. You'll be back at your home screen here. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on file. ECU HWFW, click on that, upgrade an ECU firmware. Let it upgrade right here. This might take a minute as well. Go ahead and hit OK. Okay, go back to home. Now files, your global configs. Okay, now we're gonna go to the tune that you saved here, which is Zane Tune 1. We're going to hit Upload to ECU. And we're going to hit OK. Let it upload. Now turn off the key for four seconds. 
And there you go, guys. That is it. Okay, guys, that is everything you have to do there. You are now up to date on the newest firmware on your Holly Sniper EFI. So you guys are good to go ahead and start up your car, drive it around if you guys would like to. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date on the newest stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one.